Welcome back. We're now going to look at the home menu and you're going to notice that there's a clipboard menu, a font menu, alignment, a number menu, a styles menu, a cells menu, and an editing menu. Now the clipboard menu functions as you might think. You can place your cursor inside of a particular, you can paste whatever you've copied into the clipboard. So for example, we will then hit control V, which is typically what you would use for the paste command. And you can then use any of the other text manipulation commands that you would use in any other document program. You can bold the information, you can italicize it, you can then underline it. You can then place a background inside of the information and you can change the font color. You can change the font style and you can change the font size. Now in terms of the alignment, what we can do is we can expand the cell so we can look at the alignment capabilities. And actually what we're going to do is widen this. You can center justify, you can right justify, you can left justify. Now just for your information, one of the things that we did in order to widen this cell is that we took the right hand corner and we can slide these things over. If you have a case where your cell is going to be smaller than what you have in text, all you have to do is double click this end and it will lengthen to the length of the text. And of course you can slide it out from there. And then that's where you'll be able to see your justification. You can format the cells of particular numbers. So for example, if you have a series of numbers in a specific column or row, you can use the format command to format those numbers. So for example, one of the things we can do is we can turn this to currency. We can turn this to a date. We can turn it to the formatting that we want or fraction. The styles command allows you to show your cells in different ways so that you can highlight certain things. For example, you have one table here where you can do conditional formatting. So assuming that you have a series of numbers here, conditional formatting will allow you to set rules for the content. So for example, we can say that if the value is going to be greater than 77, then what we're going to do is we're going to make this a certain color. And you'll see that then will happen to all of the data that you place in this column. You can use the cells command to either add cells or delete cells or to format cells. So for example, if we want to add cells, we could use this command. For example, we can insert a cell. We can delete a cell. We can insert an entire row of cells or we can delete an entire row of cells. We can take one cell or a series of cells using the format command. We can format that cell. We can format the height. We can format the width. We can make it so that the cell does not appear. And you're also going to find some overlap with the view area where we're going to be able to protect certain cells from individuals being able to edit the information. There's also some overlap with the data menu here in the editing panel. So for example, if we want to find a certain area of our spreadsheet, we can use find. We can then find the number 67. And then Excel will then go to that particular cell where you'll find the data that you want. Or for example, if we wanted to write in the word Google, Excel will then go to the place where it finds that text. So the home command allows you to place and manipulate data inside of your Excel spreadsheet. And for the most part, if you've ever used Microsoft Word or you've ever used Microsoft PowerPoint, much of the way in which you place content inside of Excel is going to be the same as if you were doing it in those other programs. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.